details about their experience in Kabul with the Taliban takeover. Some who were evacuated days after the takeover, some who managed to just get out in the nick of time. And joining me today are two YouTubers. They're travel vloggers who happened to be in Kabul just days before Taliban took over the city. Shubham, who goes by the name of Nomad Shubham, is joining us on this broadcast. We also have Braden Drevlov, who's joining us from America. Thank you both for joining us. And before I take this across and have a conversation with them, I just want to play out their YouTube videos. What exactly did they experience? on the ground in Kabul. Take a look at that. Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. So how are you all? I'm going to welcome you to a new video. I'm going to go to Kabul at this time. I'm going to go to Kabul and look at the mountains. I'm going to go to Kabul. But I'm going to watch the live live in Kabul. I'm going to talk to people and talk to people. But there's a fear in the mind that someone will get out of the mind. There are troops here, but in India there are engineers here. तो वही है काबुल की गलियों में घूम रहा हूँ काबुल मुझे थोड़ा डरावना लगा ज़्यादा मजार से क्योंकि यहाँ पे आपको हर जगह पुलिस वगैरह मिल जाएंगे हर जगह भाई हर कोने में पुलिस है सेक्योर है हर जगह तार लगे हुए हैं भाई क्या बताऊँ ऐसा कुछ दिख रहा है भाई यहाँ पे अभी भाई यहाँ पे एम्बेसी अगर जाते हो तो कितनी सिक्योर रहते हैं एम्बेसी यार इंडियन एम्बेसी भी काफ़ी सिक्योर है अमेरिकन एम्बेसी की तो बात ही मत करो उन्होंने हर जगह तो एक बड़े बड़े भाई सब पुलिस में लेके खड़े हैं इस तरह पूरा एरिया है और लोग घर भी ऐसे बनाते हैं एक बड़ी सी दीवार लगाते हैं उसके बाद उसके बाद अंदर घर रहता है <laughs> क्या बताऊँ so that was a short excerpt of a video that Shubham had put out from Kabul. Little did they know uh, that you know the Taliban would take over the city soon after. So I want to take this across first to Braden. Uh, Braden, what was your experience really in Kabul? Because you know when you were there, I'm sure you were getting in news also of the Taliban taking over parts of Afghanistan. Were you scared? Uh, yeah, a little bit. But part of the thing with when you travel so much, maybe we just we don't get scared by a lot of things. Um, over the time that we were in Afghanistan, the Taliban was always about six miles away. Mm. So there was a lot of a lot of nights that we sat up at, at night, you know, very afraid. Um, but overall, we found that in Afghanistan, the people are very, very nice. Being that it's at the center of the Silk Road, there's a very long history of hospitality. People are very, very friendly, very welcoming to foreigners. Um, so overall, I guess, uh, really, really nice people. And that's so sad, you know, they're such nice people. Your hearts go out to them with what's happening right now in Afghanistan. Shubham, tell us, you go by the name of Nomad Shubham, very popular here in India also as a YouTuber. So tell us what your experience was like. You know, we played out an excerpt of that video where you said there was a lot of army around you, a lot of armed people on the streets. Yeah, so uh, and also we get detained by the Afghan army when we are in Afghanistan because yeah. they think it's not safe for us to travel and walk around in Kabul. But as Afghanistan is one of my favorite country, if you talk about the hospitality of, hospitality of the people, because the people are so hospitable, uh, they always offer like to offer you tea wherever you go in every third shop. So it's my one of my favorite country, but the situation was not so good there. You can see the military every single place, mm. and especially during night. And night looks like in the daytime, there is a hustle and bustle in the city, but in the night, there is nothing. It's like just army only in the street. Uh, but why? Uh, just explain to us, why were you detained by the Afghan army? Uh, so we are walking by, so I, I travel by the different way of traveling, like I have, a, I still like to stay with the locals. So I, when I was staying in uh, Kabul, I was staying with a local through an uh, app called Kao Surfing. And then, then we were walking by the street and then some army guy pulled us and said like, you have to go to the army place because it's not safe for you by walk by yourself. Mm -hmm. And they took us to the army office and they interrogate us for like four to five hours. And then we, we, we can left, leave like, and you, and you have to stay in a hotel then. Uh, so, Braden, just tell us what happened. You know, when were you in Kabul? Uh, did you get out just before the Taliban also managed to enter the city? Shubham and I left at about the beginning of May. Um, so, at that time, uh, the Taliban was more of, we experienced them more in the north. When we, when we were in Masa Sharif, um, like I said, the Taliban was, was always just a few miles away. Mm -hmm. um, and so, we, we did see a lot of people like that. But when we were in Kabul, at that time, Kabul was still controlled by the Afghan army forces. Uh, you know, you were talking about the conversation that you had with some of the locals. Did you also speak to them about, you know, what they felt about their fears of a Taliban takeover and whether they were worried at all about the situation as it was playing out? 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, most interestingly, it's talking with the girls. The girls are very afraid of what's going to happen mm. because things are going to change very drastically. Um, one of the, the really fascinating things about these countries is when you're traveling around, like Shubham and I, we like to talk to the locals a lot. So we meet a lot of these girls that they love to be on YouTube. They love uh, TikTok. I mean, they love uh, Instagram. They love all these kinds of things. They love going out with their friends. They love going for strolls in the park. And all of that is going to stop now, um, that they're going to have to be you know, escorted by uh, uh, someone that's a male in their family, and they have to be wearing burqas and stuff like this. So their entire life is going to change very drastically. It's so unfortunate because you've managed to see Kabul before Taliban. Let's hope that, you know, we get back to the situation where we can travel to Kabul and witness what it was like before the Taliban era, which is on right now. Shubham, did you ever manage to visit other parts of Afghanistan, especially, you know, places where perhaps the Taliban was more dominant? Uh, no, no. I just was, I was able to manage, manage visit like the Mazar Sharif and the Kabul. And the, uh, that time, also back in May, from going from Mazar Sharif to Kabul, it, it was a Taliban control area. So I have to fly. I I wanted to escape uh, like the Taliban as much as possible because Indian embassy told me that there are a lot of Indian engineers who get kidnapped by the Taliban. So I just like I want to I don't want to go, go in their area. Uh, so how did you get out, Shubham? How did you guys get out? I, we took a plane from uh, Mazar, uh, Kabul to Dubai. So there was no problem whatsoever that you faced? There was no, you know, rush yeah. at the airports or any of that? No, no, it was nothing like that, like like some weeks ago even. Okay, so I, I'm glad both of you are safe. I'm glad both of you got out also at the time that you did. Uh, Brayden, you know, before I wrap this up, just considering you're a travel vlogger, considering you've traveled across the world, this is an experience I'm sure you'll always remember, but is this perhaps what you'd call the most adventurous also? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had all kinds of experiences that from near death to uh, Shubham and I were in Sudan when the entire currency collapsed. And um, so we're going to have lots of great stories for our grandkids. But um, it's a, I, I love being a participant to history and seeing the world change right in front of us. So it's the time that we're going to look back on uh, with a very interesting uh, lens. Uh, you know, seeing how things are playing out, Shubham, last word from you as well, seeing how things are playing out right now in Afghanistan, how do you really feel, especially because you've had that first-hand account of speaking to the locals, knowing how they feel, their sentiments, and, you know, you were telling us how beautiful a city Kabul is. So, uh, I mean, I talk with the locals, I just feel so bad for them because I, I was able to manage to escape, so, like, to, to help some guys to escape the, their country. But there's still a lot of people, especially I was, I was talking with the military guy who is the military chief when I was detained by the Afghanistan. And he told me that um, the Taliban is killing them, like just killing all the uh, army. And this is not, not in the news or media. So it's like I, I was shocked by hearing all these news. And I just feel so bad for them because I was just there. I was friend with them. I was hanging out like with them like just three or four weeks ago. So I so, so feel bad and I can't do it at this place right now. Uh, prayers for the people of Kabul, prayers for the people of Afghanistan. Let's hope things get back to, you know, a, a rule and a time in Afghanistan where the Taliban is again out and democracy is restored. Shubham and Braden, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for joining us. Hope you get back on the road also very soon. Uh, so Braden and Shubham had the opportunity to be in Kabul moments before the Taliban took over. So they saw Kabul as it was, the beautiful city with beautiful people and their heart really as they said goes out to the people let's hope really that you know they get the human rights that they deserve the basic rights that you and i enjoy as well